Hello everybody and welcome back to some Enter the Gungeon Hard Mode. We are going to jump in once again to some um, Rainbow Mode. And again, we're going to play as Paradox. I've been having a lot of fun as Paradox recently when playing Rainbow Mode. So let's jump on in and give this a go. Give this a go. We do have an update to uh, Neighborino's Frost and Gunfire mod with some new enemies, bunch of new rooms, a new champion variant of the Blobby Lord, which sounds kind of interesting, although I'm a little worried that it'll change the bullet patterns, meaning that it might not be compatible with hard mode, but we'll we'll get to that when we come to it. We're jumping into another rainbow mode run, just because I'm enjoying them a lot. It's allowing us to see more modded items and allowing us to get a little bit further than normal. So what we got here, we got turning all of our bullets into fire, which is pretty good. Um, we've got the Dark Marker, we've got the Space Rock, we've got the Ion Fist, which is great, but it's kind of terrible on, um, it's kind of terrible on hard mode, because it's really hard to use. So I'm not really sure what's best to go for here, because this is good, but at the same time I feel like it kind of cannibalizes a lot of weaponry. So, let, let's go for this for now. But I, I'm pretty sure it'll just cannibalize how this thing works. Yeah, it, it, it really does. It, I mean, it's really heckin' good. Oh, my God. This room is a nightmare. Oh. I mean, it, it's really heckin' good <laughs> with this fireball going on. But it does kind of cannibalize the way that the item actually works a little bit. But, as you can see, it's doing good damage. Very, very good damage. So I can't complain too much. We're one-shotting most things with this. I'm imagining it's going to do pretty well against bosses too. I cannot complain for now. And it's going to make certain faster firing weapons quite interesting. Let's just go straight for our boss here. I need to remember that in hard mode... It's really, on, on hard mode, rainbow mode at least, it's really not worth doing every, really, the lag got me then, really not worth doing every single room. It, like, it doesn't make any sense to, to be honest. Okay, oh, be careful of the delayed explosions. Okay, got him. We're also getting extra damage from the blanks that we have as well, I think it's 10% per blank. So that is another reason why we're doing as much damage as we are. Easy. Not bad at all. Crawler's Glaive is doing us great. Doing us great. So we could just leave right now. I think it's better that we go and try and go to the Oubliette, though. Uh, as I've mentioned previously, on Rainbow Mode, it, it always makes sense to go to the Oubliette when you can. Um, at least in my opinion. Did get hit there. Unnecessarily. Come here, you. Hey. Get out from behind that table. Champion boy. He's going to have a lot of health. Yeah, he has a lot of health. Wow. Leaves a bit of poison for us. We might be able to do an extender on this. Let's give it a go. There you go. Oh, we got a raccoon as well. Nice. Little raccoon. Giving us HP and junk. Next time, use a key. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But there's our uh, way into the thingy. Oh, God. This room is a little bit of a nightmare. Having combat in this room is just evil. I can't! Uh, why does that room have combat? <laughs> that was horrible. At least we got the HP here. Right. We need to get another key, so let's go and try and find our shop. I, I, I'm going to trust in the shop is being this way, but it probably won't be. Oh, no, it is. Good. Hey, more ammo. I'm just going to grab it. And then let's grab our key. Then we're just going to go down to the next floor straight away. We've already done our boss. We've already done everything we need to do. Let's go. In actual fact, this floor could be very easily the quickest if you get a, an early key drop on hard mode, because you just go straight to the oubliette pretty much immediately. As long as you get that key drop or the shop early enough, you could just find this and go there without ever fighting the boss. We don't 100% need to do that, so. But let's carry on. We might end up getting the champion Blobulord here, which would be interesting to see. Like I said, I still don't know if it'll end up sort of overwriting the um, hard mode bullet patterns. We will see. We will see. Let's see what we get here. 
Um, we have the little balloon guy. Uh, we have this, which I can never remember what this does. Let's take the balloon. Blue balloon. Let's see what he does. A favorite of Gundead children, this immortal balloon creates a massive shockwave when it's injured. Uh, so essentially, I think when he gets hit, he blanks sometimes. It sounds like he's a weaker version of the owl, and considering we just had the owl available to us, probably not the best grab we've ever, really. This room. This heckin' room. I hate it. It's the worst. Every time I come across that room, I, I take so much damage. I'm just glad this Crawler's Glaive is absolutely killing it right now. Oh my god. Absolutely killing it. What the hell is that thing? That's new. Oh god, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Whoa! That's pretty cool. That's a big boy. Oh, the way he falls over is great as well. That is a big, big boy. Wow, that's so healthy. My balloon's back and it's immediately gone. Oh, what? I've rolled there. Come on now. One memento. Let's carry on. Yeah, Neighborino did say that the... He just messaged me now. Apparently, it will definitely overwrite the hard mode, so I'll need a version without that, unfortunately. But, hey, her. Hey, her. Let's go. We might see it this episode, at least. That would be nice. We'll see what uh, items we get again here as well. So we start off with whatever this is. Mama. Oh, it does more damage at close range. Ooh, just killed a man. Um, and then we've got table tech speed. Flipping a table gives us movement speed temporarily. Two modded items to start. That's good. Um, and unfortunately, only one modded item available. And I'm not too interested in it, to be honest. Um, hmm. I don't really know what to, to grab here. Uh... Let's just take this. It's not, like, the best thing in the world, but... But, yeah, this does, like, really high damage if you're really close to enemies. In my opinion, for hard mode, it's pretty much useless. In normal mode, it's definitely more valuable. But in hard mode, unfortunately, it's kind of useless. We can use it, like, for specific enemy types, but for the most part, we're not really going to see too much use out of it. We'll mainly be using this. I'll try and use it when I can. It seems like it could be good for when enemies are spawning in. That seems like a really good use case for it. Like, we just run up to an enemy as it spawns in and try and get an extra shot on it. Like that. There we go. Yeah, that's that's its use case. 100% that's its use case. Hey, some extra health there. That's nice. We're going to try and use it for that whenever possible. Also, we get a quite a big speed boost for flipping tables here, so... Let's try and do that when possible. What? God damn, the lag is the lag is extremely bad at the moment. I don't know what's causing it, but just generally the lag is so much worse than it has been recently. Like these past like three or four episodes have just been so insanely laggy, and I really don't know what's causing it. Uh oh, nothing new enemy. Oh my god, okay, that's way too loud. Ow. Um, one moment. I'm going to go and give some feedback real quick. Um, the little flies with the guns don't seem to change their audio levels based on the player's audio settings. It was super loud for me because I play on a very low volume. There you go. Okay, sorted. I just want to make sure I'm giving bug reports as instantly as I can remember them, not forgetting them. Even if it is mid-episode, I think it's worth doing. Oh my god. Lots going on. Lots going on. 
Got him. Mama. Nope. The, the damage buff that you need for Mama is insanely close. You have to be stood, like, with the gun pretty much barrel up their bum. But I do like it when you can get it to work. Okay, one thing as well that I was suggested to do, uh, which I haven't actually done before, is change some of my settings in here. Um, the debris quality, go to low. Apparently, that'll help out a lot. I've never really messed with the settings in this game all too much, but apparently that could help a pretty large amount. I think that just means the debris, like, if there's too much of it, yeah, there you go, it disappears pretty quick. Looks a bit jank, but we can deal. Yeah, I've never really met. I might, I might lower some of the other settings as well. What other settings could we even lower? Because it might be, it might be worth us messing around with this a little bit. Like, do I need V-Sync on really? Does v is V-Sync going to be hurting this? I've never really played this game without V-Sync on, so let's give it a go, I guess. That seems significantly worse. We just had an absolutely massive lag spike then. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I might put that back on. We'll try it out. It might be a little better with it. It might be a little better without it. Who knows? It seems a little better without it. Okay, I always forget about this. This is always a really, really hard room. But, yeah. Got him. Right, we found that. Still looking for our, um... Oh, no, we found our shop. What am I about? I was like, still looking for our shop. No, we found our shop. Don't be stupid. And our water barrel is alive. Cool. Yeah, on this first floor, I'm pretty much just going to skip the first floor. Honestly, we've seen the first floor plenty of times on hard mode. We do not need to keep playing it. We can kind of skip over it and go straight down to the next floor. Saves us some ammo, and it gives us our next chest even quicker, which allows us to start building things up very nicely. Building things up very, very nicely. Hopefully we can just create a cool, really cool modded build here. Uh, oh, we've got Corrupted Junk. We've got, I think that's Black Hole Bullets. I can never really remember what Corrupted Junk does. So I don't want to take it. I want to take this because I've not used them before. Void Bullets are cool. Essentially, from what I know, Void Bullets, we have the, a really low chance to fire out a Black Hole when we're shooting. Which sounds insanely useful, even if it is a very low chance. I want to sort of see how low it is. It's seeming to be pretty damn low. Of course, it could be like magazine based or whatever. There's one. Give me those keys. This is a room that unfortunately didn't work the way I wanted it to. The keys are supposed to spawn up there on these on these platforms here and over there, but they just don't for some reason. Either way, we got some keys. Oh my god, this room! Go away! I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Extra junk. We definitely need some ammo coming up pretty soon. Ho ho ho. Yes, I'm getting better at that room. I mean, say getting better at it. I have like 1,400 hours in this game. I should be good at that room by now. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh. Holy hell. Holy hell. Right, extra blank. Rather nice. Oh, he's got, he's got a snake maker. Don't make me into a snake. I don't want it. No. Oh, why do the dodge rolls on angles always mess up? Contro on controller, I swear it's much harder to do the dodge rolls on angles. Okay, we got normal Blobulord this time. No champion. Also, I miss I I misspoke previously when we fought the Blobulord. He can still give flawlesses. Never Nims mod added flawlesses to this guy. 
But I believe we are going to die to him because we don't have high prospects here. Yeah, we don't we don't have high prospects here, and we only have a pistol left. And I'm not using mana, because I don't believe it does more damage than this. This attack has to go. Maybe I can use mana here. Oh my god, okay. I know I just died, but mana did insane damage to that boss just then. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I'm gonna keep her going, keep this trainer going. I'm enjoy I'm enjoying just seeing new modded items, even if we're not doing super well. And it's also nice to play the oubliette a little more than we normally do, I have to say. It's nice to just jump into the oubliette and see what's going on. So we're starting off with a cursed weapon, and it seems to be a modded one as well. Um nearby enemies are feared when reloading. Interesting. Um Big Mushroom. I feel like we should take Big Mushroom and try it out. All it, okay, I kind of expected it to make me big, not not the enemies. Is there a is there a reason to make the enemies bigger? I, I don't really I, I don't really see the point in that. Does it what does it do? Oh, it just makes them slower. It makes them bigger and slower, so they're like easier to hit. Having a ton of lag again here. Uh, also, we're just stuck in a corner here. I did not mean to blank the- what the hell is good? this lag is insane. It's absolutely insane. And also, I blanked the barrel. God damn it. <laughs> I blanked the barrel through the wall. Yeah, the, the lag that, that, that you get with some of these modded runs is absurd. And I, I never really understand it. Like, obviously, there's so many things at play and so many reasons that it could be caused and all that sort of stuff. It's still annoying, though. It does it does definitely make especially hard mode much more difficult to play. So we've got Hyper Boots, which I can't remember what they do, actually. Uh, Cyclone Boots, that's it. Dodge Roll releases a magical gust of wind that pushes enemies around you back. Okay, so when we Dodge Roll, we can push enemies away. And then here, we've got Orbital Bullets. Oh, that's actually really, really useful. The The range at which it pushes the enemies back is pretty huge. A lot bigger than I was expecting. Ow. Also, we do have the camera here, which is a pretty good weapon for uh, hard mode, I will say. Um, if we can keep our distance and if we get weaker enemies. Like that. How, how, how are you not dead? Okay. Oh my god, this room is so laggy! It's annoying because these two shoot on different timers, which means it's incredibly difficult to work your way around them without getting hit by the other. This is just a generally very hard room, to be honest. Okay, just take out some of the weaker enemies and then use our pistol for the rest, I think. Nice. And there you go. Carry on with the pistol here. Um, hopefully we can get into our thingy room, our uh, oubliette room, and go straight down there because I want to get a cool gun for orbital bullets here. Unfortunately, obviously, the camera doesn't really do anything with orbital bullets. Okay, we're quite close to that, but not quite there. Damn it. Keep finding the wrong heckin' rooms. Oh my god, that blasted him a mile away. Probably should have just used my camera there. Probably would have killed all of those guys in a single hit. Nice. I do love Orbital Bullets. Orbital Bullets is so fun. It's so fun. Oh my god. Wow. That was like the best electrical sort of current he could have got there. Nice. He, cha he, like, got that perfectly around me. This is definitely a room for the camera. 
Oh my god. Fuck off. Oh my god. Also, yeah, the water barrel's gone. <laughs> god damn it, water barrel. Why did you have to be destroyed so easily? Why do you have to be so weak willed? Couldn't you just live for me? I can, there's, there's a plausibility that I get another one somewhere. There's also the plausibility I give myself the Mega Dowser and go down there. Anyways, because I want to have enjoyable content. Let's keep on moving. Moving and grooving. Oh, there's one. Do not pop that, you stupid. I've got to keep looking this way. Careful for the loud. Oh, so loud. <laughs> okay, we have a barrel. It's in a very precarious position, I will say that. I, I actually don't know how I'm gonna... Wait. Oh my god, did I just fall off again? Okay. Stupid, stupid turtle melon alert. Right. Okay. I've solved it. I've solved the puzzle. I hate having to carry the water barrel through these angled rooms. It's very annoying. Okay. And boom. Stop right there. Okay. Now all we need is something to heal us back to full. That's all we need. Because we are in a dire situation right now. Come on, Oubliette. Be kind to me. Be kind to this turtleist of melon. You know you want to. You know you want to give me something just beautiful. Something that gives me a full heal, amongst other things. Uh, right, ooh, quite a, quite a modded selection here. I don't know what the hell this thing is. It looks like a gun. I also don't know what this thing is. It looks like a rock with a crying Isaac face. I'm gonna pick that up. Bashful shot. These remarkably compound musket balls prefer to keep to themselves and don't like others. Maybe don't pick up that junk. What? That is not obvious what this does at all. I am dead. <laughs> we never found out. <laughs> oh, the oubliette rooms are just brutal. Let's do another. Let's do another. Yeah, the oubliette rooms are really, really, really difficult compared to the normal rooms. They, they, they really do stick some enemies right close to your face. Oubliette, in my opinion, is meant to be more cramped, though. It's obviously, it's obviously meant to be a harder floor as well. We're starting off with, um, actually one of the items you get from Flawlessing the Blobulon, I think. Uh, the Crown of the Ancient Chance to slow down entire room. Ooh. And the disc gun. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the disc gun. Uh, ooh, we got a full set of armor here. Yeah, let's take the armor. Squire. Oh, dude, he's a follower. I forgot about this dude. This dude's so dope. I forgot about this dude. He was teased a while ago. After failing to protect his master from stray bullet, this gun squire went into his self-afflicted exile for years. With you there is a new chance for this lonely squire. He'll protect you to the bitter end. I like the idea. Okay, so there's, there's the slowed room. I'm guessing he does extra stuff if I have armor, maybe? Oh. When I dodge rolled, he put down a shield. I don't know if... Yeah, that seems to be like... I don't know if that's all he does, but that's definitely one of the things he does. I like it. Okay, this chance to slow down entire rooms is panning out quite nicely for us right now. Wherever I land my dodge roll is where he places the shield. It'd be nice if it was where I started my dodge roll, but I, I can get used to that. Um, maybe it's just time-based, because it just moved without me dodge rolling at all there. Yeah, yeah, it's just time based. It's not it's not tied to dodge rolling at all. That was just me assuming things. 
Okay, I very much like this. Having him pop up shields every now and again is really, really nice. Also, chance. A chance to slow down the entire room. Seems a little more generous than a chance. A little more generous than just a chance, because it's happening literally every room this floor thus far. But yeah, Squire is like a hard mode just bruh. He's just the hard mode bruh. I love him. He is the best. Okay, got him. Yeah, I'm wondering if he does anything else, like if I have armor, if he does anything additional. Even, even if this is all he does, I'm still super hyped to have him. It's still very, very useful for hard mode. It's going to make fighting certain enemies and bosses much, much easier. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. This room's tough. This room is incredibly tough. Also, the shields seem to protect you for a little longer than it looks like they do visually. Like, the, the shield was gone, but it was still blocking bullets for a good, like, half second after it disappeared. Which is awesome. By the way, you may be wondering why I'm not using this gun. It's insanely powerful, but it's also insanely deadly, because it does hurt the player. Okay. The birds are evil. Kill the birds. They are very evil. We don't want anything to do with the birds. Really don't care about that key at this point. Do we have a jammed guy mixed in here? These rooms. These rooms are so tough right now. We are getting some overly hard rooms. Yeah, this guy's jammed. That champion version has has the ability to jam. Okay, we have armor now. I wonder if that was him that dropped it. Do you know what? Let's go and do some research and just actually see if there's a description for what this does. Um, let's have a look. A general guide for everything the mod can be found here. Cool. So, let's go and find it out, shall we? The squire. Where are you, Squire? Squire, summons a knight. When in combat, the knight will summon a shield at the player's location about every four seconds. Okay, so it's just the shield. It'd be interesting to see his abilities enhanced when you're shielded. Maybe it cuts it down to every two seconds, or it, like, summons an additional shield at one time or something. That'd be kind of interesting. Or just some synergies in general with, it, with him would be really cool. But either, even so, like I said, he's already very, very strong, so... I ain't complaining. I'm just suggesting. Give us health, you fuck. Hey, 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 be mean to him and you shall receive. Wow, that room just destroyed itself. Okay, don't need anything from here yet. Okay, by the way, the chance to slow enemies has definitely um, staggered some. Like, it was insane before, and it's kind of slowed itself down somewhat. This guy being a champion's a little annoying. Okay, the grenade's dead. So you're saying there's a chance. Okay, good. God, that room's so far away. I think this is um, the room that we're looking for. We found it at the very last possible moment. We did indeed. Unfortunately, our barrel is gone. I will spawn in another one. Or, well, I'll look for one first, but I'll spawn another one if not. Okay. okay. Nice. Right, let's go and look for a barrel real quick. I highly doubt one survived. They very rarely do. But let's take a little jaunt and see if we can see any. The shop sometimes has them. Let's check the shop. No. Nothing in the shop. Normally when you're getting this far away from the room, you're pretty shit out of luck. 
Normally it only really spawns pretty close to the room itself. Looking like that's the case. Yeah, let's just spawn in a water gun. I'm fine with that. We don't have any other weapon that can do it, do we? Give Mega... There you go. Mega Dowser. I think that's okay, considering hard mode. It's pretty difficult to keep that barrel alive. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. I'm excited. Come on. Be something amazing. This is already... We need a really good gun is what we need. Because this is already a very, very positive uh, run. We've got some chances going on here. Okay. Blank bullets is absurdly good too for hard mode. Constructor's really good. I'm going to take blank bullets. I think... I, even though... Okay, a little bit of a tough room here. Um, even though we do need the damage, I think blank bullets plus the shielding is going to give us a very, very positive um, look at life and a very positive chance of success. Oh, really? I didn't feel like I walked off the edge there, but game says no. Oh, what? Okay, so when I said positive chance of success... Okay, okay. C calm down, game. Nope, they're not, not the weapon I wanted to use. We don't technically have that weapon, so don't use it. I just made this room insanely more difficult by adding essentially traps that are flying all over the room. But hey, her. It cleared the room a lot quicker, so. It was essentially a success. I don't know why that BD wasn't shooting me there, but I'll accept his grat gratitude towards me. Ah! Oh, grenade! They're the trickiest motherfuckers you've ever seen. Also, these big boys, they have insane amounts of HP. I mean, I suppose they are, like, pretty easy to avoid, their, their shots. But my god, they are healthy. My god, just die already. <laughs> Holy heck. Maybe tweak these guys down a little bit. Their health is absurdly high. I am going to die once more. Probably to a saw blade that's incoming from somewhere. I just need a better gun. I haven't really had a better gun for a while. That would help out a lot. Cool. No HP. Just armor. Armor's good, but HP would have been better, dude. HP would have been better. I'm embracing the saw blades. Their damage is too much for me to ignore. Embrace the saw blades. <laughs> really, Bowler? Or oh, Bowler? I don't have a key to open that, unfortunately. It would be a free piece of armor, but don't look like I'm getting in there anytime soon. This is pretty tricky. Don't do a big attack. Okay, that's cool. That works out pretty well, actually. Somehow. Okay, the chain lightning guys scare the bejeebus out of me. Also, the sheer amount of poison at that side of the room. Holy hell. I do love these guys' new attack with the, the massive poison pool. I suggested that to Spree Creator, and it actually worked out really, really well. He did a really good job of balancing that. Okay, I have filled the room with far too many saw blades at this point. Let's take cover. I do love the fact that they stick around for so long, because it makes them more dangerous, but at the same time, it means they usually do damage over multiple waves.
Wait, this is, is this the right way? Yeah, I think so. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait a minute. Something ain't quite right here. What the heck? Go away, you slow motherfucker. That guy actually is jammed. I would like to mind out the way of that shot. Uh, uh. Yeah, some funky stuff going down there. Um, I will go in here, buy a key. Oh, uh, no I won't. I don't have enough money. <laughs> no, I will not. Let's make this room even more dangerous than it could have ever been before. Yeah. There is just saw blades everywhere. Holy fuck, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> There was like a hundred saw blades in that room. Holy fuck, that was a good attempt. We we tried, we didn't, we didn't get very far today, unfortunately. We really didn't, but we'll jump back in in the next episode. We'll do a little bit more rainbow mode before returning back to original, because I'm really enjoying it. It's allowing to see a lot of modded items that we haven't seen in a long time. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.